What's up? How are you guys today? Sugar Boy is back because today we are making lemon sorbet, which is one of the few frozen desserts I can actually have with, you know, my current dietary restrictions. A lot of the other fruit sorbets, not that great or not common enough to have access to, certainly not organic, ice creams off the table, and there's not really a lot of frozen desserts that uh, exclude dairy. With that being said, let's take a look at the ingredients. Sorbet is simply fruit juice and sugar, and then you can add a few things here and there to really improve it. Here we just have regular organic sugar. Uh, my little secret is some white wine. This is an organic biodynamic Gruner, which is a bit riper grape, so it's fuller. It works well with a, a sweet dessert application. This is the filtered water we're gonna be using to make it. And I have some organic lemons here that we're going to juice as well as zest. The main thing to note is you do need an ice cream maker. Uh, I have just, I think it's 50 or $60 Cuisinart. You put the thing in the freezer uh, because the condenser is what the expensive part is. And then if you really have a lot of ice cream, you enjoy it a lot, maybe you can get a, a more expensive machine. But I'm gonna do all of the prep and I'll check back with you guys in a few minutes. Holy shit, you gotta be kidding me. This thing is literally brand new. And was it made out of aluminum or something? First lemon I try to open, thing completely snaps. Well, for some reason, if you have an ice cream maker but don't have a citrus juicer, you can take a fork and then squeeze the lemons over the fork. This might actually get more juice out, it's just after you do like a few lemons, your hand, hands kind of give up. So we need one cup of lemon juice, which is between six and nine lemons, depending on the size, but you just wanna make sure uh, to take the zest from one of them before you finish up. So you don't have like an unzested lemon just sitting on your counter, it might go bad a little quicker. And when you zest this, you just wanna get the yellow part. You don't wanna go down to the white, which does get a little bitter. So we have one cup of sugar, one cup of lemon juice with one tablespoon of zest. We have one and a quarter cups of water, and to that we're gonna add quarter to a third of a cup of the white wine. So we're just gonna take our sugar and mix it into the water. I just wanna hydrate this a little bit before we put it into the cold mixer. So this thing needs to sit in the freezer for a few hours, preferably overnight, to get really, really cold. And then we'll just put everything in here. The lemon juice. The water, wine, and sugar. And we just have a pinch of salt. This goes like this, and then... This goes on top, and... So this is gonna take 10, 15, 20 minutes. Eventually it's, it's gonna get so cold and frozen that it's just gonna clump up and stop spinning. But since there's wine and salt in this, it's not gonna get as frozen solid. Uh, so keep in mind the texture will be a little different than typical sorbet because we are adding the wine to it. The alcohol has the lower freezing temperature. Not much of a difference, but it does make the texture a little different. So this has been going for maybe 15 minutes, but around the 10 minute mark, it just stopped like this. So as you can see, the sorbet is frozen to the point where being in the machine is not doing anything, it's just keeping it cold. So per the manufacturer's instructions, we're supposed to take this out and put it into separate bowls. All right, so one of these you just pop in the freezer and the other we can have now. All right guys, so here we have our lemon sorbet, AKA frozen lemonade, a little glorified. So the texture when it comes right out of that, it's okay. I have a feeling it's, it's more the type of machine, you know, the, the really professional commercial Sorbet machine is gonna give it a little bit better of a texture because it's gonna have a more controlled temperature and freezing time. The flavor on this sorbet is phenomenal. The organic lemons with the wine to really bring out the, the flavors and aromatics of it, it's really good. Even though the texture isn't as good as what I've had in the restaurants, uh, the flavor is a little better, I like it more. The combination of the acidity from the lemon and the sugar 
It just makes it like hyper palatable. You don't want to stop eating it. Definitely one of the worst things for your teeth. <laughs> Very bad. It's really just like pure lemon flavor because all the stuff added to it is just to accentuate that. Well, thank you guys for joining me. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this healthy and delicious dessert as an alternative to maybe some not so healthy things you've been having or stuff you've been going out and getting at restaurants because even if it was made with organic ingredients, if they're using fluoridated water, all that stuff, you notice such a big difference in how it tastes and how you feel after eating it when you make it yourself with the actual quality stuff. So you guys can go to frank if you'd like to support me through my businesses. Outside of that, please drop a like on the video, leave a comment down below, subscribe so that YouTube can unsubscribe you next week, and be sure to check that notification bell so they don't notify you of my videos. Thanks again for joining guys. I'll see you for the next video.